Okay. Empowering women. Favorite subject. Can't go wrong. You guys should all know this is my subject. We've done moms in general. We have done tattooed moms. Um, lesbian mothers, breastfeeding mothers, and uh, it didn't even dawn on me that there is a whole other mother out there, the working moms, because I am a stay-at-home mom, so it didn't really, you know, I don't work. <laughs> working mothers. Get this, I have a statistic. All the feminazis out there, get ready to blow your fucking lids. Get this. 75% of mothers with children under the age of 18 work. 75% of mothers full time work, full time. That's a lot. Okay. Get this. Back in 1960, guess what the percentage was for working mothers? Just guess. 11%. One, one. 11% is 75% now. That's awesome. I mean, think about it. 75% of mothers out there are providing for their children financially. They're providing for their families financially. We could not do that a ways back. Awesome. Could not do that. <sighs> Working moms. I mean, my God, you get up every morning. You get yourself ready. You get your kids ready. You get them off to school or daycare, wherever they have to go. Then you go to work, and you work and you bust your ass all day long, and then you do it all in reverse. Then you get off work, and you go pick up your kids from school or daycare. Then you go home. Then you start your night shift of cooking and cleaning and bath time and showers and homework, all the shit that comes along with your nighttime process. My head is exploding thinking about it. I'm a stay-at-home mom, and... I'm very busy. I have a lot that I do. A lot of people think the stay-at-home moms just do nothing. BS. I have a lot to do. And you work eight hours or sometimes more. Sometimes more. While parenting. I mean, it's amazing. The love and the patience that you guys have to be able to go to work and work for long hours and take care of what you need to take care of and treat people how they need to be treated and do whatever you need to do to get through your day and then come home. Just a second. Just a second. And then you come home and you do the same thing with your family until they go to bed. It's amazing. You guys are so awesome and I am so proud of you. 75%? So even if you just look at my page, I mean, my lord, that's a lot of the a lot of the moms that I'm talking to right now. You're probably at work. Don't get in trouble being on Facebook at work. But you guys are amazing. You guys are completely noticed. Everybody loves you. Keep it up. You know, not everybody hears when they go to work all day and then come home and take care of their kids. Not everybody hears a good job because that's your life and that's the choice that you made to have children. But nobody, everybody's so rude about it nowadays. Nobody stops and says, good job. You're doing awesome. You may have had a rough day at work today or whatever happened, but you came home, you took care of your kids, you made sure they were loved and fed and need everything they had, they needed. Good job, mama. Good job. Keep it up, man, because you guys really are amazing. 
I got to give you so much credit because I miss dearly working. It's just not working right now. I, I, I just can't work right now. I have to be a stay-at-home mom at the moment. But I have worked and I miss working and I would love to work again. So for the moms, it's okay. So for the moms that are already doing that, I got to give two, two thumbs up because you guys really are amazing. Keep it up. It is not unnoticed. You guys are amazing and beautiful and you can go to work every day and then come home and take care of your babies. It's awesome. Good job, mamas.